Hi, this is John. And today on Ask the Ocast, I'm answering Connor's question. He asks, how do we reconcile passages that speak of God leaving his people with the assurance of the gospel? And uh, in the questions, he references multiple passages in the Old Testament where the children of Israel disobey God, and then God punishes them, abandons them, or even at times kills them. And how he struggles with his own sin, where sometimes when we sin, is God going to abandon and leave us? And how does this relate to the gospel? I think it's really important to understand here what's called covenant theology. Understanding how God interacts with people in the Old Testament is very important. In the Old Testament, the children of Israel were in a covenant with God that if they obeyed the covenant, the Mosaic covenant, that they would receive blessings and protections. But if they disobeyed the covenant, then God would discipline them in various forms, uh, turning them over to their own enemies. Um, Even at times, he left them out in the wilderness to die, a whole entire generation, because that was not related to their salvation. That is always in Christ, and it is always by faith. We are told that the gospel was preached to Abraham, and he believed that they are justified by faith. But in relationship to the land promises, in relationship to God's presence and protection and blessing as related to the old covenant, then yes, they could violate that covenant, and they would occur upon them that discipline that comes from God. The promise of the new covenant is that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, meaning that those who have faith in Christ to be his, to be our representative, to be our replacement, we will never receive the punishment of our sins. This is why we can confess our sins, and he is always going to forgive us of our sins, and we will never be condemned for our sins. This is uh, 1 John 1, 9, and also uh, Paul says this in Romans that we cannot, Romans 5, there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So understanding the relationship of those passages, Old Covenant, Mosaic Covenant, uh, that is not in relationship, their sin is not in relationship to their standing before God as far as their salvation, but in the blessings of the Old Covenant and the protections of the Old Covenant, absolutely. So it is very, it's very helpful to understand these uh, this relationship. I encourage you to listen to Um, our series that we did on covenant theology. You can find it on our website where we go through and explain how it is that God interacts with humanity and how the plan of redemption unfolds through covenants and covenant theology. And then on the side of the gospel, I think it's very important to understand that uh, when you sin, all sin, whether past, present, or future, all sin is covered by the blood of Christ. That there isn't some sin that is covered uh, only past sins that are covered. Uh, God's blood the, through Jesus Christ, Christ's blood covers all of the Old Testament saints' sins, and it covers all of those going forward, those of us who weren't even born at the point. All of that sin is covered by the blood of Christ. That's why it's sufficient. And on the cross, he says that it's finished. So you have to rest in the fact that even though we have ongoing sin, as Paul said in Romans 7, the things I don't want to do, I keep doing them, the struggle with the flesh We rely on the gospel, the good news that Christ's blood covers all of our sins and that we have been cleansed by faith alone. There's no works that are required. And as we continue to struggle against the flesh and at times give into the flesh, we confess those sins and receive ongoing forgiveness, 1 John 1, 9. So to understand that context, sacrificial system, by the way, was pointing to this final sacrifice. They needed to daily, weekly, even yearly, go to and receive atonement for their sins. That pointed to the final sacrifice in the old covenant, pointing us to the new covenant, which is Christ is the final sacrifice. As John says, behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. So find your rest and hope there. God is not going to abandon you. God is not going to kill you. God is not going to forsake you. He has made a provision for this ongoing struggle with sin. It is prayer and confession. Christ's blood covers it all. I hope you find rest.